Now, before I open for the for the for the uh, for, for questions for the public, uh, um, maybe I want to ask one question to the panelists. Uh, clearly, to fight illicit trade, it, illicit trade is a complex problem, as we have uh, understood in terms of dimension, in terms of cross borders, in terms of actors uh, into the, the into the intermediaries with uh, the e-commerce platforms, and uh, so, so it, there is no easy solution. If there were any solution, I think that would already been uh, applied. So um, and, uh, there needs a comprehensive solution where each act uh, plays a role and together we, we fight. In your view, my question, but really in the 30 seconds or one minute each one, uh, um, what are the two things, if you had to list two important things or one important things that uh, you would like to see uh, different acts to do in order to fight illicit trade? Knowing there is no silver bullet, but what are the one or two important things? Maybe you start with... Euh, pour moi, euh, et c'est une chose extrêmement importante, on ne peut pas lutter efficacement contre le commerce illicite si l'on n'a pas la pleine collaboration du secteur privé. Parce que c'est le secteur privé qui est au centre de ce commerce international, c'est lui qui le sait effectivement euh, euh, les, les, les recettes, je dirais, qui permettront de, de lutter plus efficacement. Donc là, aujourd'hui, je voudrais vraiment en appeler au secteur privé, puisqu'il y a beaucoup de de gens du secteur privé ici, participer à cet effort, aidez-nous à construire ce cadre juridique international, soutenez le travail qui est fait pour que l'on puisse effectivement mettre en place ce mécanisme. Ok, clear private sector, we have the private sector here, maybe also on private sector, so I've given my je, opinion. Je, je, je bois les paroles de, de, de Jean-François parce que effectivement c'est extrêmement important de casser cette méfiance euh, ab initio qui existe entre le secteur public et le secteur privé. Nous sommes euh, tous autour de cette euh, table ronde, une sorte de passerelle. Euh, euh, nous rencontrons euh, les autorités publiques, judiciaires, policières, douanières, euh, administratives, pour les aider, pour leur proposer nos aides. Nous sommes, euh, 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 groupe LVMH, euh, même aujourd'hui, euh, co-signataires d'accords particuliers avec certaines autorités douanières ou policières à l'échelon du monde pour ce partage d'informations qui est véritablement la base de toute forme de progrès dans la lutte contre cet empire criminel dédié à la contrefaçon. Autre point, je pense que des solutions existent et je pense que ces bonnes pratiques doivent être aujourd'hui partagées à l'échelon mondial. Je vois par exemple qu'il est quand même topique pour de, 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 de vous indiquer comme exemple que moi pour saisir en masse des blocs de noms de domaines de sites de contrefaçon, je vais aux états unis voir un juge américain qui va pouvoir m'autoriser à saisir des blocs de 1000, 2000, 3000 sites de contrefaçon avec la capacité pour moi de saisir l'argent de la contrefaçon qui est sur les comptes Paypal ou Alipay qui sont associés à ces sites de contrefaçon alors que groupe français, lorsque je vais voir mon juge français, on m'autorise à saisir site par site, donc une action pour un site le record étant pour nous cinq sites en, en juin dernier, sans capacité de saisir l'argent de cette délinquance. Et je pense que le nerf de la guerre se situe une fois plus dans la capacité de saisir les assets criminels pour en réalité euh, déstabiliser le plus possible ces réseaux euh, criminels transnationaux. So more cooperation, you think, and sharing. Carlos. Yeah. So, so uh, as a technologist, I am always uh, optimist. Um, I think the fourth industrial revolution is going to solve a lot of the problems we have. Because by the year 2020, which is uh, next year in a uh, in few months, we're going to have already 20 billion objects connected to the Internet. By the year 2030, we're going to have 1 trillion objects connected to the Internet. This room now maybe have about 300 objects connected to the Internet. This conference in 10 years' time, we have something like three to 4,000 objects connected to the Internet. Your clothing, your watches, your glasses, everything will connect to the Internet. And everything will have something inside that makes that object unique and makes this object very difficult to counterfeit. Because one thing is counterfeiting the physical aspect of the object. Another thing is to counterfeit it, the digital soul of the object, which is what it's all about. I think what we need to do now is to establish very clear instructions on how companies can start to getting themselves ready towards that revolution. The fourth industrial revolution affects everybody. So last two years in Davos, we launched the uh, anti-illicit trade declaration, which is a technology declaration that basically uh, is signed by corporations that then comply with the principles of technology on how brands and how governments can work together into creating the right synergies 
to reduce illicit trade globally. And then you have organizations like PMI Impact and others that they are really creating a multi-stakeholders approach as this cannot be solved only by regulatory bodies or technology bodies. We need to work together. The big opportunity that by resolving illicit trade, you also resolve uh, the, um, the issues related to the United Nations SDF. So you are in a situation where poverty alleviation, the fact that 1.2 billion people don't have a digital identity or a national identity yet, uh, so the Sustainable Development Goals will never succeed if we don't solve the illicit trade issue. So I think international cooperation at the same time that we are sharp focused on technology development because technology is the enabler of the other. So if I can share maybe in one minute, my opinion is that, uh, as I mentioned before, there is no easy solution. There is no silver bullet. Uh, I think uh, first thing, uh, everybody has to look at themselves. So what our own organization can do so in terms of Philip Morris, we are doing the free nodes, so know your customer, know your vendors, uh, and know your, know your payments uh, in order to, uh, to do business with, uh, with, with the right people. Uh, we put in technology, so track and tracing of our products. Uh, so as a company, we're trying to do a lot from us, ourselves, but I do believe that uh, the solution is in partnerships, and I think uh, the panelists mentioned that. Uh, so private-public partnership is the only way to really have a coalition each one doing its part in order to, uh, to, uh, to fight illicit trade. In that direction, uh, Philip Morris launched a fund uh, called PMI Impact, uh, which is uh, giving grants uh, uh, to organizations, being NGOs, being at uh, law enforcement, being the public sector, private sector, in order to fund projects in their sectors uh, to, to fight illicit trade, not only on tobacco, which is a sector, but any sector, because they're all interconnected. So really to find a coalition of willing partners to fight uh, the so public-private partnership is clearly the, in my view, the way ahead. But each one has to do his own bit and not only point a finger to the law enforcement or to the Amazon of these worlds.